sorry for just now technical issue. So I will start again. So here is, I already opened my civil treaty here. And to create, uh, for today, free online courses will be the point stall in civil treaty. So to create a to create point in civil treaty, so I need to create a new drawing. So how to create new drawing? Okay, you just click on this new button here and it will pop up your new drawing to create a point or anything in civil 3D. So actually, point is no or zero dimensional. So there is no volume, no area, length, or other dimensional for point. So how you generate point? So point actually being generated generate by x, y, and z value. Or in other, in other name is nothing, is thing, and elevation in civil 3D. So to create point in civil 3D, you can go here at this create ground data panel, and you find there is point drop down. You click on this one, and you can find there is a point creation tools. So you click on this point creation tools, and then you can find there is a create point box. So actually what you have here are same as this point dropdown. Okay. So to create point is actually have two methods to, to insert point in civil 3D. So the first method is you manually insert it. The second method is you insert it by using your surveyor data. So the first method is manually. So you just click on this first icon, miscellaneous manual. You click on this one. And if I bring my cursor to my drawing space here, and civil 3 d want us to specify the location for the new point. So I just randomly place it here. And after that, it wants us to enter the point description. For example, I just clicked A for my point description. And I click on Enter. And next, Civil 3D want to specify the point elevation. So for example, the elevation for the point is 189. I click Enter. And if I zoom in, that is my point. So currently the star or the marker for my point here are a very basic one. So if I click on this point, I go to properties, I can find the information for my point here. So this point is actually Kogo point and the raw description is A, which is I currently uh, insert just now, the A description. And the star here, I'll be setting, be set as default. So this is why my marker here are just X, read X here. So for example, I want insert, set the star for my point. So I just click on the drop, I click on the drop down for the default here. And you can find there a bunch more styles that you can use to, uh, to, to change the marker of your point. For example, I want to change it to the water valve style. I just click on this one and it will change it as the setting for the style for the water valve style. But let's say benchmark. So it will change to benchmark. How do you, so how do you uh, create the style for the point? So to create style as your spec, using your, spec, your own specification, you can just go to tool space here and go to setting and you expand this point here and you can find that is point style, expand it again and click on this point. And you can find there is the point that already been set by Civil 3D. So let's say you want to add your own point style using your own specification. 
you just right click on the point star here and click on new. So this is the setting box for the point star. The information, marker, 3D, the geometric, display and summary. So I information here, I can rename my star. For example, this one is surface. And the marker here, I can design using my own spec. Or I have, if I have an AutoCAD block symbol, I just, I just can use it in here. Okay. Or I can customize my marker. For example, I want to add square in my marker. And for the display, I want to change the color to this color. Okay. And click on apply, click OK. So if I go back to my properties box here and I go to the style, I click on drop down, and then I can find my new style that surface. So I click on this one, and my marker for my Kogo point just now will be changed to the marker or the style that I create, that I just create. So let's say I want to add label to my point. So to add label to your point, for example, you want to know the description, elevation, and anything, you can just go to here at this point label style under the style column here. And currently it's also set as default. That's why we got no point label here. So you just click on default drop down, and you can find this is the point label style that being created by civil 3d and for example i want to know the elevation and the description for my point i just click on this one and that is my elevation and this is my description so this is how you create your point manually so for example you have your own surveyor data which is have x value y value and z value in it so to insert survey data, I just delete on this point first. So you go to this box here, the create, create point to box, and you can find the last icon here, import point. You click on this import point, and this is import point box will pop up. Click on this add point, add files button here and find your data, your survey data in your uh, PC. So for example, I have this TOFPO survey and the file type will be the TXT type. So if you drop down in this file type, you can find there's a bunch more file type and you can use, that you can use to insert in Civil 3D. For example, you have CS CSV file, you can also use CSV file. So for my case, right now, I have the XT file and I click on this topo survey. I click open. And next, you need to set the file format, the point file format for your point. So how do you know the file format? To know the file format is by looking on the file, the survey file data itself. I already opened my survey data here. So this is the file. It's a comma delimited and it's half point. This is the X value or the nothing value. This is the y, uh, y value or the if thing. And this is the elevation or the Z value. And lastly, the description. So we ha I have these three elements. Yeah. If I go back to my civil 3D, I search for the P and EZD format with comma delimited. P for point, north, north uh, and for nothing, easting, Z, uh, elevation, and lastly, the description. And then I click on OK, I zoom extend, and there is my point. So currently, my point uh, key set are besetting as you can find this one is set as star for three automatically 
And this one, just a default one. Okay, so how do I create the set, the key set that if I insert my topo survey or data survey in my civil 3D, it will change accordingly to the description. So to do that, you go back to the setting at the tool space here and go to this description key set, click expand it and right click on the civil 3D, go to edit keys. So here you can set the code accordingly to your description. So to create new description code, right click on any code here and click new. And here, for example, if I go back to my uh, survey data, the description here is EP. So I just insert the code here, EP, EP with star in it, and then the star, I choose the new style, the surface style that I just created just now, and the for the label will be the elevation only. I'll click OK, and don't forget to click this right button here. If you just close it, it will not save your setting here. So click right button here, and go to my prospector column at the tool space and go back to the point group. You can find all point here. Right click on the all point. Click on apply description keys. I click on it. And if I zoom out, I can find this is the EP point, the description. So it will read any EP description. Okay, here. And it will change it accordingly to what I saved the description keys just now. Okay. So that's it how you create point in Civil 3D. So thank you for joining me and see you in our next free online courses for Civil 3D. Bye bye.